आज उंगली थाम के तेरी तुझे मैं चलना सिखलाऊ कल हाथ पकड़ना मेरा जब मैं बूढ़ा हो जाऊ तू तो मिला तो मैंने पाया जीने का नया सहारा मेरा नाम करेगा रोशन जग में मेरा रुलारा तुझे सूरज कहू या चंदा तुझे दीप कहू या तारा मेरा नाम करेगा रोशन जग में मेरा रुला
Ya Pak Tuhan.
एक बार बोलो श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय सब कोई जय सीताराम कोर्डियल वेलकम टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू एंड दिस इज नॉट अ Occasion we like to go to, not occasion we like to be part of. Nevertheless, these are challenges in life, and then when the time comes, we have to face it. And so today is one of these days that we are going to part with a great individual, a great soul, and we all, you know, the time will come when this ceremony that is being done today will have to be done, regardless of your. religious denomination we all will have to exit one day so this is the time and you know from birth to death march 1950 to 23rd of october right sir oh sir 20th of october thank you from 1950 to 20th of october In 2022, there's a gap. That gap, it all depends on what we do with that time, and how efficient and how good you have displayed yourself, your actions. And so today, the remains are here, but the atma is not here. If the atma was with that body, we would not have been here. The atma has left. You and I do not know where it is. I can't pinpoint it, but we know it is not with the body. And all of us seated here today, we all have the atma or the jiva inside of us. Today, we should have been fortunate to be able to get up. A lot of people went to sleep last night and didn't get up. A lot of people went to sleep the day before and they did not rise. And so that will continue. So when we rise and we see the the sun. the energy giver that sun that we forgot about so long ago that sun that we are now taking the solar energy from it we should be happy to see that sun so today the sun's family the grandson would be involved in the rites and the ritual this is all we can do and this is called a passage of time in that we With the name and the chanting of God's name today, we'll craft, we will attempt to create a good hereafter for the soul, a pathway that the soul will travel with less difficulty. So, my dear devotees, we are about to start now. Om Hari Om Namah Sri Ganesha Namah Sri Saraswati Namah Shri Guru Charan Kamale Bhyo Namah. ओम श्री स्वस्ते नोरिंद्रो विद हस्रवा स्वस्ते नोर पुष्या विश्वा विदं स्वस्ते नोर सारिक्षो वरिष्ठने में विहस पतिर दर्धातो दर्धायु वायवलाय वर्चसे सुप्रजाय सच्चवाय सहस्रो ही वैशरद संतम शांतिरं दृष्टिपुम शांतिरापम शांति सामा शांतिरो शय शांते विनस पत्यम शांति ग्राम देवता शांति सांदेवता शांति पुर देवता शांति पित्री मंगलम भगवान विष्णु मंगलम गरुड़ मंगलम पुंडरी काक्षम मंगलायन तनोहर ओम श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु श्री पूर्णम पुरुषोत्तमाय परमात्मने अध्य श्री ब्रह्म नो द्वितीय परारदे श्री श्री बार कल्पे वैवस्वत मनुवंतरे कलियुगे कलिप्रतम चरणों चुनराधेश नंबर फोर्टी फोर फाजल आवेन्यू ग्रामे पिनाल नगरे श्री कार्तिक मासे कृष्ण पक्षे त्रियोदश तिथि ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू साले त्रियोदश तिथि रविवार हस्नक्षत्र कन्या राशि सुतेशु यजमान से श्री सूर्यला नाम से अमुक नाम से यजमान से सूर्यला नाम से अमुक गोत्र मुख प्रेत से अंत्येष्टि कर्मा अहंकरिष्या भोले श्री विष्णु भगवान की जय सुविधा उत्साह जस्ट फॉर शॉर्ट वाइज जस्ट ओम शांत 
पूजगणशयनम पद्मनाभुशम विश्वधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्णम शुभांग लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिवीर्ध्यानगमय वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वलोकनाथ बोलिए श्री विष्णु भगवान की जय राम नाम सत्य है प्रेम से बै जाइए ठीक है श्री श्री शांति प्रवस ृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेशवनिमितृतस्थानेश
मयादीयते तवोपतेष्टतां ओ मध्यमुक गोत्रस्य मुक प्रेतस्य मित सानेश वनिमित पुष्पमाला दानम मयादीयते तवोपतेष्टतां जगला That is what I like. That is what I like. Good. 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 Very good. Yeah. Om Hari Om Namo Namam. Adhya Mukho Gotrasya Mukho Pretasya. Mrita Sthane Shavani Mita. Surla Namasya. सुगंधितयादीयते तवोपतिष्ठता हरे This time we are about to perform the RT. RT is asking the Divine Lord Shri Krishna, please, O Prabhu, today as we circumambulate around the body, may you, O Lord, remove whatever ills, whatever problems that may have occurred while this human being lived on this earth, create a bright and a prosperous pathway for him to travel upon in the next. Journey of his life. So we all kindly stand, please. Pay respect to it. The offering of light. You, you could link together if you have to do five. I will do twenty-five. Okay. So everybody link together, and we go in clockwise, right round, performing the art. Five times. ओम यम द्वारे महाघोरे अंधे नातम शावरिते तत्रैव लोकनारथाय दीपो यम मयादीयते तवोपदेष्टतां यम द्वारे महाघोरे अंधे नातम शावरिते तत्रैव लोकनारथाय दीपोयं मया दीयते तवोपदेष्टत ओ मध्यमुखगोत्र मुखप्रेत सुदाम से दीपम दान मया दीयते तवोपदेष्टता जय राम हरे जय राम हरे जय राम हरे श्री राम हरे राधे श्याम हरे राधे श्याम हरे राधे श्याम हरे राधे श्याम हरे सीता राम हरे राधे श्याम हरे सीता राम हरे राधे श्याम हरे राधे श्याम हरे सीता राम हरे राधे श्याम हरे सीता राम हरे राम नाम राम नाम राम नाम सत्यनारायण भगवान की जय राम नाम सत्य है विष्णु भगवान की जय ठीक है
So dear devotees, friends, relatives, members of the community, this is more or less the ceremony. At this time, what we will do, we will ask, we will ask the immediate members of the family to join, to come forward and perform their part. Apply the chandan, the perfume, perform the RP. So immediate family members, it is your time now. Then we will go to the extended family. Then we will go to the community, friend, neighbors, whosoever is around and would like to come and have a view and perform rites and ritual. When you come forward and you do RT, it means that you are also asking the Divine Lord to create to burn out impurities and to ask Bhagwan Krishna to bless the soul as it leaves the physical plane because it has to go into another plane. So we ask at this time, you know that if you would like to come forward after the family, immediate family members, then you are invited to do so. At this time, while that is being done, we could have some chant. And I see some bhajanya, so if we open page, that will be page 3. Jai Krishna Hare, Sri Krishna Hare. I think we all know that. We can all join together. Om Shri Krishna Chandra Bhagavan Ki Jai Jai Krishna Hare Shri Krishna Hare Dukhiyo Ko Dukha Dur Kare Jai 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 Krishna Hare Jai Krishna Hare Shri Krishna Hare Dukhiyo Ko Dukha Dur Kare Jai 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 Krishna Hare Jab Char Taraf Andhiyara Ho Asha Ka Dur Kinara Ho जब चार तरफ अंधियारा हो 
आशा का दूर किनारा हो और कोई न खेवन हारा हो फिर तू ही मेरा पात्र जय 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 कृष्ण हरे जय कृष्ण हरे श्री कृष्ण हरे दुखियों को दुख दूर करे जब चार तरफ आशा का दूर किनारा जब चार तरफ आशा का दूर किनारा हो जब कोई न खेवन हारा हो जब कोई न खेवन हारा हो फिर तू ही बेरा पार करो फिर तू ही बेरा पार करो जय 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 कृष्ण हरे जय कृष्ण हरे श्री कृष्ण हरे दुखियों को दुख दूर करे जय 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 कृष्ण हरे जय 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 कृष्ण हरे जय 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 कृष्ण हरे बोले राम नाम सत्य है राम नाम सत्य है राम नाम सत्य है सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स मैनी आर टाइम्स इफ यू ऑन दिस सोशल मीडिया यू विल सी वेन सम बॉडी पास इज ऑन यू विल हेयर कॉमेंट्स लाइक रेस्ट इन पीस आर आई पी डोंट यू आर आई पी वो रेस्ट इन पीस इज नॉट सेंटर अराउंड सनातन धर्म इफ दैट सोल हैज टू रेस्ट इन पीस वन देन इट विल हैव नो इट विल कॉम टू एन एंड इट विल कॉम टू अ स्टॉप दैट सोल इज नॉट गोइंग टू रेस्ट इन एनी पीस दैट सोल इज हैज टू ट्रैवल So if you ask the doctor says well you know you need 7 days rest like the doctor told me because i got the the flu very bad he said on it you have to take two weeks rest and that was on the first when in this month and is the first two weeks that i ever worked so hard is the first two weeks for a long time that i have spoken and used my voice because i am involved because of previous commitments i have to be in functions all the night and day and i can't go down and sit on my people house and fold my arms and say all right get the jungle it will go through a series of rites and rituals so i am losing my voice gradually coming back and going coming up. This morning I should have been here ten, but from Rochard Road Junction to Scott Road Junction is the biggest traffic jam I've ever seen for a long time. Right, so it take me about ten minutes to reach to reach here. So this happens. We make plans, but the master has other plans for us. So why rest? Would well, not rest in peace. You should say Om Sadagati. Om Sadagati. Members of the family have performed, so if you, anyone else would like to come forward, please. It's now your time. Remember, these are the last moments that you will have to physically see the human, the body of the late Mr. Jagla. Correct, huh? You see? You see? Right. All you listening. Congratulations. Congratulations. All you listening. Eh? So this is the last time. The last time you will have to see the body of 
is the sewage land. So, when you say Om Sadegati, you are praying to the Divine to guide the Jiva Atma to the highest consciousness in its next good. You are guiding the Jiva Atma towards a higher consciousness in the next book. Whatever karma can be destroyed for the jiva by performing the last rites and praying for purnatva for the jiva, it should be liberated from that. This is what Om Satgati implies. So, to your Sanatanis brothers and sisters, is Om Satgati, not rest in Peace. You should rest in peace while you're living because the monk of them will be talking. I'm glad if God said rest in peace before they really reach out to Sometimes they open up their mouth too much. But... So if the if a Jiva believes that it has only one life to live, it remains stuck in the limbo for a long time. So the jiva lives in many bodies. The jiva is in this body today and after its rites and rituals, it goes to another body. All befitting its karma. All because of its karma. So when we close our eyes in, 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 in in this sleep, in lifelong sleep, it means that something happens after. The jiva goes its way. So that we must all be very aware of this. Shri Krishna, Sharanam Mama. Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama 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 Shri 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 Krishna Sharanam Mama Narayana ye Krishna ye Paramatma ne namunaman Narayana ye Krishna ye Govinda ye namunaman Shri Krishna sharanam mama Shri Krishna sharanam mama Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama Narayana ye Krishna yana ye Govinda ye namo namam Narayana ye Krishna yana ye Paramatmane Namo Namam Narayana E Krishna E Govinda E Namo Namam Narayana E Krishna E Paramatmane Namo Namam Narayana E Krishna E Govinda E Namo Paramatmane Namo Namam 
श्री कृष्णाये नमो नमः राम नाम सत्य है सब यही गत है गोविंद 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 गोपाल 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 इतना तो करना स्वामी जब प्राण तन से निकले गोविंद नाम ले के जब प्राण तन से निकले श्री गंगा जी का तत हो यमुना का तत निकत हो श्री गंगा जी का तत हो यमुना का तत निकत हो मेरे सावरा निकत हो जब प्राण तन से निकले गोविंद नाम ले के जब प्राण तन से निकले श्री वृंदावन का थल हो मेरे मुख में तुलसी दल हो श्री वृंदावन का थल हो मेरे मुख में तुलसी दल हो विष्णु चरणन का जल हो जब प्राण तन से निकले गोविंद नाम ले के जब प्राण तन से निकले मेरे सावरा खरा हो बंसी कस्वर भरा हो मेरे सावरा खरा हो बंसी कस्वर भरा हो तिरछी चरण धरा हो जब प्राण तन से निकले गोविंद नाम ले के जब प्राण तन से निकले उस वक्त जदा आना मुझको न भूल जाना उस वक्त जल्द आना मुझ का न भूल जाना न पूर्व का धुन सुनाना जब प्राण तन से निकले गोविंद नाम ले के जब प्राण तन से निकले जब प्राण कंठ आवे कोई रोग न सतावे जब प्राण कंठ आवे कोई रोग न सतावे यम त्रास न देखा जब प्राण तन से निकले गोविंद नाम 
तले के जब प्राण तन से लिख गोविंद नाम लेके टेक द नेम ऑफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण रेगुलरली इफ यू आर रेगुलर If you take the name regularly of God, whichever denomination you form, that name will always be there. But if you take the name once in a while, once in a year, or once on a Sunday when you go to church or you go to your temple or mosque or Friday, what about what what about what happened to the other days now? What about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? This bhajan is reminding us that take the name of Bhagwan. When that jiva is leaving the body, it leaves from one at the various side of the two eyes, nose, mouth, eyes. It leaves in that direction. When it reaches the throat, there is no way that it will get it back down. Not you got a tablet. You take a tablet and you fill it up, and you take a cup of water and you send it down. When the jiva or the life is exiting the body, you can't do nothing. So let's say only Sunday you go to church and Sunday you pray. What happens Wednesday if your life coming out? If the jiva is I'm not sorry, if the jiva is coming out from the body Wednesday, what happens? That Lord existed and the name of Him didn't accompany it when it left. So that is why the goal is placed on certain parts of the body because God would have exited from one of these points. That is why His goal. Why His goal? Why do we use goal? As you hear goal, as the lady hear goal. Shh, shh, shh. How much carat? What carat? Where is the highest carat? High? Twenty-two carat. She want the best. Why? Value. Gold has value. God has name and value. You can't weigh the value. But the nearest thing the human mind could get to is the value of gold. So hence we offer the gold. We say, Oh Bhagwan, we thank you for if you have existed in one of these points, may you always guide me on the right pathway when I enter into another body, the human body. Is temporary. The jiva or the soul is everlasting. It cannot be cut. It cannot be burned. It cannot be washed away. So remember, God is important to all of us. Not you alone. Not me alone. All of us. All of us. Sometimes we give up. But take His name. I'm not saying things are going to become easy, but it's going to become less difficult, less difficult with His name. So we all have equal opportunities. God has blessed us with. That's why we are human. We have this. We have our mouth, not only to use and say bad things, but good and wonderful things. The eyes to see good things. The ears. You ever see two people arguing yet? And this on and side A, pelting argument. Side B, pelting back at A, and vice versa. You know, after five minutes, nobody hear nothing because we try to look good in front of that one, vice versa. This is not about establishing quality and position. This is establishing the divine name of God in your life. And we all need him. And if you didn't realize that God existed, all those who had families and friends who exited during the COVID, COVID didn't tell you come in. Up to now, just come and grab you on. Hey, you come with me. You're gone. So many funerals we had to do in the COVID. So many families we had to come from. So many families. We were unable to do rites and rituals because of the position, of the amount of bodies. This funeral home probably, I don't want to say nothing good or bad, but he had a backup. Imagine you die now, and a month from today you get in, agreed to cremate. Oh, very. 
So look at all these things. If that didn't wake up, if that didn't wake us up as human beings and how we should live, then you would just sleep forever. Right? So at this time, we'll have someone to give the eulogy. So you know, Viti, come forward. everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chloe. I'm the oldest grandchild of the family. And it is indeed an honor to be the grandchild of such a kind, generous, and loving man. A thousand years wouldn't be long enough to learn all the lessons, the strength, and the wisdom my grandfather had to share. Sir John Nanlal was born on the 19th of March, 1915, to the late Nanlal and Samaria Ramdari. He grew up in Clark Road, Pinal, where he spent a lot of his time with his five sisters and his two brothers, and later moved to Fasal Avenue, Pinal, with his wife and his children. He attended the Clark Road Hindu School in his early days, and then attended Victoria College in his teenage years. He was extremely diligent and focused, especially when it came to his education, and he was always proud of his academic achievements and encouraged his children and grandchildren to take their own education very seriously. Although he was a third child, he was the eldest son in the family, and he strived to be the best brother and child he could be. He loved his siblings daily, and even in his last days, he would always call and check up on them just to make sure they were all okay. Mm -hmm. Just recently, he called his sister to ask if she was healthy and tell her she needs to keep checking her pressure and her sugar. Early on, he helped his father plant rice and cane, which they would go to the market to sell on a Sunday. He had always loved his garden, and up to recently, he would grow his own little cucumbers in the backyard, and go down to the market to sell them for some, for some extra money. Him and his brothers always had fun making their own fishing nets and throwing it to catch some fish in the pond in Clapper. I would then go take a dip in the dam. And I recently came to learn he was such a good swimmer, he would swim multiple laps of the dam and even risked his life to save another woman from drowning. This only accounts for a small amount of his immense selflessness and his care in heart. He started from humble beginnings and worked tirelessly to work his way up and provide for his family. His first job was in a grocery store where he worked hard to make an honest living. What he didn't know was he was actually about to meet the love of his life, my grandmother, in that very same grocery store. Three years ago I told this story and I'm here to tell it again. On the 1st of December in 1968, my grandfather saw the love of his life, Tara Serjan Nanla, for the first time. He was so smitten, but he couldn't muster the courage to go and talk to her. Hmm. A year later, in 1969, they finally had their first conversation, and from then on, it was instant love. But of course, no love story is perfect. There were many trials and tribulations when the topic of marriage was brought up to her parents. But after five years of fighting for her, consent was finally given, and they were registered on the 30th of October, 1973. Their wedding ceremony took place on the 4th of November, 1973, and from then on, they had been lifelong lovers. I strongly believe my grandfather founded the saying, happy wife, happy life. There was nothing he wouldn't do to make her happy. And from this loving marriage came three precious children, Rishi, Sushila, Onisha, and Amit. And the five of them did everything together, a family so full of love that nothing could break their bond. My grandfather would often carry them to the Twilight Drive-In Cinema and carry them to Lucero Beach Weekly, where they had endless fun. He would also carry them to observe carnival celebrations and watch cricket games, which he absolutely loved. He was actually an active member of the Apollo Cricket Club in Clark Road and had a strong passion for cricket, something which he passed on to all his children. My mom mentioned her favorite memory of her dad was going to watch him play cricket games and being his number one supporter. But more than having fun with them, his main priority was educating them and ensuring they had a good start in the world. He would sacrifice his own health, his sleep, his comfort, and his family time just to make ends meet, to guarantee that they had the comfort that they wanted and they needed. He worked as a PTSD bus conductor for many years, and during these years, there were times he would spend nights in the bus at terminals in Port of Spain just so he was able to work more hours and be an efficient worker. He always took pride in being the best at what he did and never gave anyone a chance to complain. After working for PTSD, he worked as a laborer where he worked assiduously until he retired. He sacrificed a lot to ensure his children were properly educated and provided for, and it is evident that he did such a good job since his hard work and sacrifices reflect in their successful lives now. From his three loving children, he got his son-in-law, Joel, who married Nisha. 
His two daughters-in-law, Nali, who married Rishi, and Suzy, who married Amit. And even better yet, he got his seven grandchildren, myself, Chloe, Rishala, Nikash, Zach, Ari, Sapna, and Arab. And if you thought he loved his children, he loved his grandchildren even more. Every day without fail, I remember he would bring chewing gum for us when he was waking. He would wait, we would wait until he, we heard his boots strutting downstairs and then rush down the stairs to ask him if he brought anything for us. And he would always unzip his bag and pull it out with a smile on his face. And he would also carry us on walks down the hill and even carry us to any function he had to go to. He would make sure to give his littlest grandkids money for school every morning and always stock up on snacks. So they'd sneak away when they weren't allowed to get it in their own home and get it from his kitchen. My grandfather did a lot of things in his life, but what he was most proud of was raising his family. And I know that wherever he is, he's boasting about us. From a young age, he started buying newspapers and watching the news habitually, and I think he's probably one of the few people who still read the newspapers every day. He saw the need for keeping up with the progressing times and ensured he was always up to date with the latest news and information out there. And this translated into his personality, because he was always calling to check up on everyone and find out if everything was okay in their home. But ironically, he was never one for small talk, and a long conversation, he would never have one. He was a no-nonsense man, always straight to the point and honest. True. He took his time trying to keep in contact with everyone after my grandmother died, and he tried his best to reach out to those who he cared about, even if it wasn't always reciprocated. And his kind and caring soul will find peace in knowing he did his part in keeping the pieces of her legacy alive. And again, keeping up with the progressing times, that didn't stop him. It didn't stop at watching the news. He actually developed cooking and baking skills very recently as he tried again to keep his wife's legacy alive. He was famous for baking his cakes, his sweet bread, and his spoon, and sharing it up amongst everyone in the house. Just about two weeks ago, he sent a piece of spoon for me for my birthday. He also learned to dye his own hair, wash his own clothes, and cook his own food. And he was forever adding to his independence and partly stubbornness because he refused to ask for help from anyone. He would never miss a, f a funeral or a wedding. He was there for the happy times and the sad, and he helped in any way he could. My grandparents were also very famous for inviting everyone to their home for any occasion and making them feel very homely and happy. They were the most generous, considerate, and compassionate people. My grandfather in particular was always willing to host at his house and would provide every comfort for his guests, no matter the cost or the hassle. He particularly enjoyed donating to his temple and offering assistance when he could. He was a big believer in God and would get up early to light his dear every morning and say his prayers. His faith was strong and he believed and he believed and I hope in his life he achieved everything he wanted and got everything he prayed for. Grandfathers not only give us wisdom and encouragement, but they're also an inspiration to us. He was a great man, a true role model for his children and his grandchildren, and he lived a peaceful and humble life. I pray that wherever he goes to rest, wherever his soul may be, he is happy and proud of who he was. He has left a gaping hole in our heart which can never be filled, and I will miss him every day. Even though he will never be here physically with us for the rest of our mind souls, I know he is looking down at all of us as our guardian angel. On behalf of my mom, who is only daughter, we all know was his favorite. And the love was reciprocated 10 times more for her. She wanted to know that we will be okay, and she will be okay. And she will do whatever she needs to do to keep your legacy alive. She will miss you immensely, and she will pray for you and grandma. She knew you were longing for her. She knew you were longing for her from the day she left this earth. And finally, you can reunite and continue your love story in heaven. She loves you very much. I will forever treasure her precious memories with you. And now you can finally go and sleep peacefully. to be as spirited as you. Anyone who knew you were well aware of how extremely active you were each morning. You'd wake up at 6 a.m. for the latest to occupy yourself in your daily schedule. The pots and pans which fell each morning will be missed as it indicated the preparation for your day-to-day -day activities. I'll miss the way you displayed your love and affection in an extremely unique way. You always worried about the well-being of your dearest ones, which was evident by your many questions. 
Papa, you were dear to me, and I'll forever cherish the shared memories of you in my heart. I will never forget when you bought me a three feet tall teddy bear in High Street, San Fernando, and traveled on home to deliver it to me on my birthday. It was and will always be one of my most prized possessions. You, you knew exactly what I like to eat and would bake, yes, bake cakes just for us. Your warm-hearted gestures will, won't go unnoticed. Papa, your sponsored KFC Tuesday special was and will always be treasured as it saved me from eating my mom's veggie cooking each Tuesday. Every time you have sponge cake, prawn, and any sweets, you'll make sure Sweetie, me, will always get her share. We enjoy that together, as well as our regular discussions about both our, both our lives when I would check on you upstairs. I'll miss the way you'd hug me every time I had to leave for school each week. I'm glad I hugged you each time I saw you, and I will never forget the last time I did. I love you forever and always. You were a great grandfather to me. Thank you. Sit down, everyone. So I just want to say a few words, but mostly everything that I wanted to say was already said, but I'll say it anyway. Anyway, on Sunday the 19th of March, 1950, one of the greatest persons who I know took birth on that day. My father, Sergio Landla, born to Somalia, and Nanda Landari, the greatest grandparents I could have had. Yeah. And they would have instilled in him their qualities, which he would have instilled in his children, myself, my sister, and my brother. As was mentioned, education was the most important thing for him concerning his three children. He did not want us doing anything. My mother would not allow us to do any chores at home. But when we came home, she would call him when he would shift. But she would call on those days. But as he reached home, he would ask, did they finish their homework? Did they be? Did they behave themselves? He was a strict disciplinarian. And that is why he wanted the best for his children. In those days, we may not have understood why he was that strict with us. But when you grow older, you realize when you are more mature what he was about. If it wasn't for that attitude and that quality in him, none of us would have been here today. And we, at some point in time, will do the same thing for our offspring. And we are doing it and they are on the road to success. And that is the most important gift he could have given to his three children, a song and a proper education. As mentioned by Chloe, he worked many jobs. He worked in the grocery where he met the love of his life, my dearly departed, loving and caring mommy, Tara Bayo. So is love, non love. And she made it legal to insert so is love in her name because that was the love and the bond both of them had. Nothing could have come between those two. Nothing. For 44 plus years. For 44 plus years, they were Mr. and Mrs. So is love, And he would work PTSD as a conductor. And in 1989, when I was in Form 2, my sister was in Form 1, my brother was in primary school, he was retrenched. I remember right upstairs in that gallery there, he sat and he cried. What he's going to do? He has three children to go to school. Two now in secondary school, one in primary school. But the man he was, he was not no quitter. 
He was not going to let down his family. He would have done and he did whatever it was necessary to ensure that there was food on the table. Children were educated. My mother did not have to ask for anyone for anything once he was there. He never asked any of his children for anything. All of us are working. But there's none of us who could say that he came and asked us for a cent. You have vehicles packed up in the yard. He would walk where he wanted to go. Just not to inconvenience any one of us. That is the person he was. He was the man. He was the man of the family. He is the man of the family. And he will always be the man of the family because of the qualities which he has instilled in his three children and his grandchildren. He was the best uncle. The best brother. To all his siblings, the seven of them, and all their little departed Uncle Suku. All his sisters are here with us today. Tandy Didi, daughter, Elsie, Muni, and the baby. But the baby is baby. Right? And our one remaining uncle from Nandala to Maya Amdala, Narayan. So I can go on and on and on. But I know time is limited. And from the attendance we have here today, that will tell you the type of person he is. And from the amount of IoT that was done, that is indicative of what type of person he was. A gentle soul. A loving, most caring soul. A genuine person. No second thoughts. He will talk his mind. He will not be afraid to talk his mind and say his opinion. And who vex, vex. That is the man he was. That is the man he was. Very courageous. He was not big in stature. But no one, absolutely no one, would have tried to bully him. Or to interfere with him and he will not respond in an appropriate manner. So Daddy, the most caring, loving, gentle, and dedicated father, husband, I know you grieve for my mom for the past three years. He had no illness. None at all. But when we had to go to the doctor, they said only last time we went to the doctor, we had a medical record. I said I'm 48 years old and he has never went to any doctor that I know of. Only took his vaccine and that is in the center. So I know today he's in a better place just because he wants to be reunited with the love of his life. And we are letting you go today. You surprised us, just as she did, on the 4th of July 2019, when she sat there, and she went. You went to sleep on a Wednesday night, and you slept. She went on a Thursday. He also went on a Thursday. She was committed on a Sunday, he will also be cremated on a Sunday. That is the bond they had. These things, I do not believe, happen because of coincidence. They happen for a reason. They happen, it happened because of the bond those two people had. So, travel safe, go and join our mother, our grandmother, our aunt, sister, and find your final rest in peace where you know when you meet her, you will be very, very happy, you will be comfortable. You have served us well, we appreciate, we are thankful, we are grateful for every single thing you would have done for the children, 
your grandchildren, your sisters, and your brothers, your cousins, and everybody. We will always love you. Once I'm alive, your memory will never vanish. Your legacy will continue to your children, your grandchildren. And the paper will say you are the father of three, but he was the father of six. He was the father of Joel, he was the father of Nali, and he was the father of Susie. He did not treat them as in laws. When they joined the family, they became family. They also became his responsibility, and he took pride in doing that. And his grandchildren were the joys of his life. Every morning you stand here and say, um, boy, boy. Call the one here. Right? We hear it from downstairs. If my daughter is going to school every Sunday, he will ensure that he calls her, you know, he hugs her and do what he has to do. And not only her, but all the grandchildren. When he bake his bone and his cake, he will send for them. Okay? So we have no negative memory of him, and I'm not just saying that. He did not allow us or afford us the opportunity to have any negative memory of him. Every single memory we have of Sujan and uh, my father, or our father, is positive. So go ahead, join my mom. Both of you will be very, very happy. You did well. From the humble beginning that you came, and you will continue to do well. We got our best, both of you. Love you. Sit down. Um, sit down. Sit down. My voice is not as loud as my brothers. So I hope you all, everyone here. Um, for me personally, one of the, well I have too many memories to mention with respect to my dad and where it is that to recall all of them and say to everyone. But besides memories, I think that what resonates with me mostly is that the the life lessons that he gave to us and allowed us to have to have our futures with our wives, our husbands, our kids. And one of the things that will always be with me is that when it is that we were growing up, all three of us, Rishi, myself, Sushila, education was a goal for him as everyone who spoke before me had said. But one of the things that he gave us as kids from a young age, from even primary school, going to secondary school, is that he gave us the independence to make judgments and decisions for ourselves. And I think that is one of his greatest lessons to me, is because he gave you that at a young age for you to make the choices that you had to make, whether it's for however you wanted to further education get into your married life, have kids, and do what you have to do, and ensure that it was a common understanding that I think that I had grasped from him, is that he allowed us that privilege and gave us that, and that was special. It was not no quarrel or boof or argument or anything, it was just that you knew that he had, had you had an understanding of where, where it is that you wanted to, where he wanted the direction, or you had to get the direction for your life. In terms of memories, as my brother said, that he didn't back down from anything. I remember we were playing cricket, and my mouth was a little hot. And one of the guys from his team, his good friend, that told me something, and he retaliated. So when he retaliated, it became a thing. So I was young, I was, I was in my teens. 
He didn't tell me anything, I'm his son. But my Aja came and told me, and he was in his 40s, that do not do anything like that again to allow my big son, which is my dad, to get into trouble. And that was the bond that he had with his father. When his mom died, he cried. But when his dad died, it took, he was on a different level as a person when his mom died. He had total respect for his dad, and he, he loved the Ramdari family. If you all look yeah. into the pamphlets that you had, he has on a jersey that write Mr. Ramdari 1925. That is his Aja when he was there. And it shows where it is that he recognized the, the lineage and where it is that he respected a family life and he wanted that lineage to continue. He would go on the theater of me when, for, for Indian Arrival Day and he, he went two times in Randari Trace where he used to live during the COVID, put on his clothes, put on his jersey, walked through Randari Trace, asked me for a bell borrow and rang the bell. Somebody asked me, the people around Randari Trace here will know that. What if I, one of his cousins on Randari Trace asked if, but they know him as Annie. It's okay. And the eldest one, one of them told him, that is Annie. He's in his full senses. He knows what he's doing. Because no one would do something like that. No one will take the responsibility that he would make decisions and he would make hard decisions, but he would stand by his decisions. And he really taught us, his kids, something in life. And for the people who very well knew him and had the opportunity, to be close to him, his kids, his grandkids. We lost. We lost the body, but the memories will all, always, always be there. As Krishna says, Baba Krishna says, that the body is here temporarily, the soul lives forever. It is a change of clothes, merely a change of clothes. But the memories that he had left with us will be etched in our hearts forever and ever and ever. I mean, for, I, I don't, unfortunately I was far away when, when I say I was in Port of my mom died, I was far again when he died. And as my brother said, these things will happen by coincidences. I think it was for me not to be close to absorb, or we would not have been able to absorb the shock of being here physically at that moment rather than someone calling and telling me and taking an hour to come home. So I think that was one of the things that, as my brother said, those things don't have my coincidences. It was there. Because I was supposed to stay home the day my mom died. I was supposed to, I was at penal half past 11 the day he died. But I had some, I, I was not home. I didn't come home. I was two minutes away from home, but I did not come home. So, life gives you all, kind of, all kinds of lessons. And this man lying here, he was not a talker, but he was a romantic. When it came to his wife, uh, uh, one year after his wife died, he called off all of us, and he had did all this stuff himself. Called a radio program, had a, uh, 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 a program that he sponsored, and spoke about the history of his life when, his, when he met his mom to present day. I think that was in 2020. That was something that we were, blown up, we were blown away with because we didn't know because he was the most independent man that anyone here can say that have ever met. He would not ask you for anything. He would not ask, he would give, he would give, but he would not ask for anything. Back to the program when he spoke. Some of the things my sister, myself, and my brother, and the, the ones who were here, learned as well, that we did not know from beforehand. I know time is of the essence, and in times like these, we know that there's so much that you have to see and that you can't see. But the memories that my parents gave were always positive memories 
and good lifelong lessons. We, I did not say anything when my mom died, but I, I could not have not got this opportunity passed because this is the last time my father's physical body will be here. But as my brother said, he was the man. I don't think anyone can walk in his footsteps. As his cousin who sang the song for him earlier on, what he said, and he, everybody who's here lives in different parts of Trinidad and Tobago, far, close, and very wide. And at some point in time, my dad would have visited yourself, your house, by himself, traveled or walked. We all know that he would not let an opportunity miss. Before COVID, he would not have let an opportunity miss for that. After COVID, he, as everybody else, they, were, they, they took their precautions and everything. Grief, he was physically healthy. As we all know, we would see him walking up and down this road. He was physically healthy. He would call his four sisters. He would call his brother, he even call his brother choosing to check up on him to make sure he finger okay. Five sisters, but he couldn't call us for the last couple of years when she was in, in New York. But if she was here, she would have been getting calls as well. And he would call his extended cousins, his cousins as well. He very, he very much appreciated family life and the extended family. And he tried to speak to us about his kaka, his aji, his nana, and every one of the family. He didn't have a line to, the grandma, to his mom's side or his dad's side. He is truly and was truly a gem. I love my dad. I love my mom still. I always love them. Those things no one can take from you. But the he is he is the man. He is the man. Um, not for any sad things on it, but on behalf of the Rishi and his family. Nisha and her family, myself and my family, the, the close ones and everyone who's here. This man left a legacy and simply put it, live simple, live simple and share that knowledge that you have for your kids. He will walk the road, there are two shops of us, and go down the road and go everywhere but he would buy, he was magnanimous in giving gifts to whoever it may be. To the temple, he would buy murtis to the temple, he would do a lot of things. A lot of things that he did to get enough sewa to have this kind of debt. Because 99% of the people in this world wishes for the kind of debt my parents had. Only less than 1% gets the debt that they have. Died in their sleep. No grimace on their face. No, no look of anguish, no look of hurt. Truly blessed souls, my parents. He is happy where he is now. He gave us three years, 16, he gave us three years, three months, 16 days. I guess that three years, three months, 16 days. I think that was the time that he afforded to all his children, one year for each of us, and he rests for the grandchildren, to ensure that you all can stand on your own two feet for your own families and to keep his name for his parent, for his name and even his Alja's name and his Nana's name alive and for the future. I want to say thank you for everyone. The part will continue. I love you, Dad. Forever. Thank you very much. So you have heard quite a lot. For those of you who would have known, you could underscore the points that they all gave this morning. At this time, you know, we have to go on then other that. I have functions, two of other functions this afternoon. So at this time, we would like to conclude. If you could kindly stand, please, as we do our closing prayer. So all of you who was come forward here, please.
all who would like to hold flowers, we have flowers here. So, because after we come close, yeah, you can come forward with it and collect your flower. We have many flowers here. Who would like to take a handful of flower and offer? Om Hare Om Narayanaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namam Om Sri Vishnave Namaha Om Kashyapai Namaha Om Akshayai Namaha Om Bhumpai Namaha Om Sarveshwar Sarve Tvam Sharanara Vrindam Sirsanam Amyate Kripaya Yemritak Sharir Jeev Atma Kalyanam Kuru Om Sarveshwar Deen Bandhu Bhava Bhaya Haram Sarva Apradham Shama Kuru Parivarasya Shokam Nivaranam Kuru Santo Shadiyate Om Sarveshwar Bhagavan Tvam Kripa Sarva Janasya Shubhgati Prapriyate Om Anadhani Dhano Deva Sanka Chakra Gadadhara Akshaya Pundari Kaksha Preta Moksha Pradobhava Tvami Vo Mata Chapita Tvami Vo Tvami Vo Bandhus Chesakha Tvami Vo Tvami Vo Vidya Dravinam Tvami Vo Tvami Vo Sarvam Maman Eva Devam एक बार बोलो श्री बिंद्राबन बिहारी लाल की जय राम नाम राम नाम राम नाम, राम नाम। हरि ओम शांति ही शांति ही शांति ऑफर दी फ्लावर्स राइट सो एस नाउ फ्रॉम अस वी कैन मेक अ रिमेंसरी वी कैन गोइंग थ्रू दी मेन रोड चुकी ना दे गोइंग थ्रू दी बे ओके ओके so the, the journey that we are traveling is the Paria Airing Road straight until the market and then we go on the Ring Road coming out on the Mosquito Creek and, and then to the cremation site. So see you all, sit around, enjoy the rest of your day and may you have, yeah, may you have a happy Diwali. For so those of you who would like to come to view, please come forward. You enter at one point and you exit at the other. Sit around.
Yeah, dear friends, and just an announcement here, we, there's some changes made so that we will not be using the Separia Avenue Road anymore because of the amount of traffic. Somebody just informed that there is traffic jam there by miles. So that we will be passing through the Suchi Trace area. So please be informed for those of you who would like to journey with us. Right, so take care and enjoy your, your journey into the destination. Sit down. Thank you. 